Hello, a very good afternoon to you. It's Scotty McClue, and this is Sunday, the 16th of April, 2017. Easter Sunday. The time is one o'clock lunchtime. I've left it intentionally until one o'clock because I want to give you an Easter message, and I want it to go on past the high noon into the whole of Easter and the year belong the year uh, ahead of us in the rest of 2017. Now, I've always thought that Easter would be a great time to have New Year, because Easter means Esther, the goddess Esther, one of the ancient goddesses long before there were religions as such. And she was the goddess of fertility, the goddess of the new life. And this is very much a day for a new life. Now, for the Christians, of course, I say to you, this is the day that Christ rose again and dwells among us in his risen power. When he walked in the garden and Mary didn't recognize him, thought he was the gardener and asked him, where have you taken my Lord? Because he wasn't in the tomb. Where have you laid him? And um, Jesus said to her, Mary, and she looked and she said, Rabboni, which means teacher. And uh, that's the Christian message, the new life. And of course, the disciples doubted it was him. You had doubting Thomas. And we've all met doubting Thomases. We've all met people who do not think we can be great. And one day I was in a bus in central Scotland. And an old lady got onto the bus and she said to the driver, how much? To the cross and I thought you know that's a very very interesting thought how much to the cross what is the price of going to the cross where Jesus was crucified and now dead and has risen again and dwells among us in his risen power so that's the belief of the Christians and to everybody of the world's religions I say to you happy Easter and many, many blessings. To those of you who see something else in Easter, the ancient festival, as I say, the egg, the new life. And it's very interesting. I was walking the dog last night, and um, I was followed by two little fox cubs. And I thought, aren't they fabulous? They uh, are the new life. They are a symbol of the new life. And if you listen carefully, you'll hear the birds flying about, building their nests, about to lay eggs, about to have the new life. If you look around you, the trees are in bud and they're starting to leaf. Flowers are starting to flower. The daffodil has been out for some time. The snowdrop has been out for some time. And they all mark the seasons. They all tell us to have a happy Easter. But my message for Easter, of course, is one of hope, one of peace, and one of love. And you say, my goodness, Scotty, hope, peace, and love at the moment? Ooh, I don't know about that with what's going on. But I'm going to take you on a little creative journey this morning. Now, yesterday, if you look at your television screens, you'll see that people in different parts of the world are firing missiles at each other or firing missiles into the sky. You'll see that they are parading with missiles and soldiers and people with guns and what have you, because the most lucrative business in the world is turning our engineering companies into making armaments and flogging them to various powers who want to give their neighbors a good doing. Well, what I would say to you, here's an idea. Imagine that on these floats, on these trucks, where these missiles are, there's a jazz band giving it a da 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 Imagine it's a time of festival. Imagine that these people marching don't have guns. They've got violins. They've got saxophones, they've got trumpets, they've got trombones, they've got cellos, they've got, um, what's the great big one, euphoniums, all that sort of thing. They've got tubas, 
and um, they're bringing joy, they're making music. Imagine if we took the defence budgets for the world, for everyone in the world, round the big table, a round table, like King Arthur's round table. So nobody's more important than anyone else. And we said, right, we're going to sign an agreement that all the defence budgets will now go into the creative arts to make opera and choirs and concerts that the people can pay money to come to see and to hear and to partake in. Could you imagine that? Messiah for all. Everybody singing. Thousands and thousands of people right across the West, right across the East, the Middle East, and all countries, North, South, East and West, competing with each other for who can make the finest choral sound, who can make the finest classical sound, who can make the finest garage sound, who can rap best, who can sing best, who can play best, who does opera best, that sort of thing. Have all your so-called conflicts, your perceived differences between people wrapped up in the creative arts. And just think about it. Think of the song. We hear the bird song. We hear the fox cry. We hear the owl hoot. Imagine if we heard the human song and the human music plucking the strings. Yes, the harp playing, the piano playing, the grand piano playing, full body weight on a grand piano. All the symphony orchestras playing to perfection, joyous music everywhere you go, and the people singing and dancing. Because remember, there is only one race, the human race. We're all members of the human race. Everyone smiles in the same language. I know you've heard me say that before, but it's true. And you can only have war and battles and fighting if you have a them and an us. I think there's just us. So there you are. And when you hear talk of saying that things are divisive, I heard it used in relation to Scottish independence. Somebody said that it's divisive. Somebody said the people are exhausted. The people are sick and tired of hearing about Scotland's self-determination. What utter nonsense. All that's involved in it is putting a wee cross in a box when the time comes. And that's not difficult. We as Scottish people are not afraid of work and we can put our wee cross in a wee box and tell people what we think and what we want to do. That's self-determination. And that again can be allied to what we were saying at the start. How much to the cross? Are you going to the cross? Are you going to the box? Are you going out into the world to make it a better place to be? That's Scotty McClue's message to you, dinky do on Easter Sunday morning. I wish you all a very, very happy Easter. Join us tonight at 10 o'clock sharp for the big one, the global talk show. Share this and share this and share this and tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Spread the word because we are a massive global program. And a program like this unites people and unites the world. Now, if you've tried the program and you thought, ach, old McClue, what, what are we at? What are we at? Come and join us. Make sure you give it a real good go because we're going to bring in the Skype tonight, which means we're interactive, which means you can Skype in to scotty.mcclue. Do that. Skype in to scotty.mcclue and build and build and build our audience. It's very, very important. For those of you, that are fed up 
with Scotty McClue saying, can you go fund me, please? Can you go fund me, please? Can you go fund me, please? Can you go to PayPal? Can you give me £2 or £5 or £10? For those of you that are thoroughly fed up, please, I beg of you, don't walk past on the other side. Because I personally feel I have a lot to contribute to the world's media. And I need you to go fund me. I've done it intentionally this way. I could put out a call for shares and I would be absolutely overwhelmed with people saying, I want shares in any enterprise that you're anything to do with Scotty McClue. But I've chosen not to do that. I've said to the people, give a tiny amount that you won't actually miss. And I shall put that to very, very good use to improve the equipment, to build the broadcasts so that we can all get together at the drop of a hat. Have a wonderful, wonderful Easter Sunday. A very, very happy Easter to all of you. And think of Scotty McClue's message of peace and love and hope. I'll see you all tonight at 10 o'clock. Until then, dinky-doo!